Hey, good morning guys. It's a new day here, a new week actually, and we will start working again on the frame and I'll show you what I'm gonna do and I'm not gonna hold you too much for the repairs because they're minor repairs and I don't think I'm gonna waste your time with that. Of course I'm gonna show you if something interesting happens, but uh, you know, most of the part, most of you know, uh, the major repair was... The major... Let's see what that noise is. Oh, that's KJ. KJ is taking out the fenders. He already has taken out the front fenders. And to be honest, they look very good. Let me flip them around so you can see. You know, this uh, weak usually area here around the headlight this one is in really good shape and the whole fender actually is in really good shape even here so I think these are new fenders they have been changed just before they parked the car and that was like 30 years ago the other one over there is in the same shape and I hope the rear ones are good too unfortunately the picture underneath is not that good here some repairs have been done there's a big patch here i guess because on the inside you can see this is coming apart so i guess they just patched it on the other side and the same thing there it's not very good so here we have a lot of work in the engine bay and but i think also the seals have been changed at some point Mm, not really sure because there's the paint is bubbling here, which means it's not very bad, but otherwise They seem solid the inner seals are bad But yeah, I guess somebody did the partial restoration on this car You see the floors are missing But somebody changed only the fenders and the outer seals at some point so now we have to do the rest, I guess. So let KJ do his job here. We're gonna do our job there on the frame. <coughs> so, like I was saying, uh -huh. so like I was saying, the major repair was here on this area and that's done already. I just need to flip it and weld the t-shirt underneath. And the other little things I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna just do them without you. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> Anyway, so let's start. Okay. Derek McAllister, he wanted to see me flipping the frame, even though I showed it before, but he says he didn't see me, so this is how I flip the frame, Derek. Alright, so here, apart from the t-shirt that I have to weld here, oh I didn't paint that, that corner, but anyways, apart from the t-shirt, there are a few little issues that I still have to fix and I'm going to show you now where, like this here, this area, and maybe inside a little bit, of course the corresponding other side here, and inside there's some holes and there are holes here uh, there's a nice little hole here of course this crack on the differential mount then here everything is done already I have to straighten this uh, transmission mount and here at the front I have to do this I still have to weld here and I think that's it and here this area this if I will see if I can straighten it because this is where they jacked up the car many times I guess but it is uh, solid so it just needs to be straightened and that's it uh, some areas like here the metal started to split I guess just the spot welds were not good so we're gonna have to 
see if we can bring this down or maybe we have to open it clean underneath and close it and do plug welds here and uh, yeah just little repair it's okay Jay took all the fenders off and they don't look bad like I said all these areas where usually you find rust and rusty holes they're good on these ones here you know usually this area here oops this area here around the lights is bad here he had to cut to cut it because they braced it to the body but that's fine he cut here too and left this spike here for somebody to get hurt but other than that it looks fantastic here you know they sell replacement panel for here but we don't need it here everything looks good well I'm happy at least the fenders we don't need to touch and the other rear one as well here you can see where it was braced all over here there were no screws here they preferred to brace it <laughs> but KJ cut it off the body though will require a lot of attention here I think this is gonna be all hole here when I start cleaning it this doesn't seem too solid here you can see there was a lot of bondo because there was a accident at the front or something here you can see probably this is gonna turn into a big hole uh, I showed you these areas there this is bad the battery tray doesn't look bad I'm surprised but here we have issues down there down there too this flange is gone I'm guessing this is where the patch is underneath if there's patch at all or it's not just bondo or something because it looks like they didn't hesitate to use bondo on this car like here I think we have to keep these parts carefully because we have to put them back after <laughs> see that's a sixteenth of an inch <laughs> it looks like looks more like a quarter and more than a quarter inch here three eighths maybe but there are no holes that's I'm surprised that there's no hole here maybe they replaced the metal but it wasn't the shape wasn't right and they just used bondo to fill it up here you see there's a hole here which means that this is a new fender because if there's a hole here and that was the original fender there would be a hole on the fender on the same spot but there's no hole here the rear valance that's bad that's bad here I'll see how am I gonna replace this see the other side the same here this will need a lot of attention I don't know, probably you don't see anything in the dark <coughs> down there inside not bad we will see but the seals look solid that's surprising so maybe they changed the outer seals but they didn't change the inner seals so maybe we will need to pull them out or I don't know or maybe when we take out the inner seals we will see if the stiffener piece is good or not but these are things to be determined but for now we will stay focused on the frame we will finish the shirt and everything here we're gonna de-rust it, we're gonna paint it and only then we're gonna move to the body for now we're gonna leave it alone or if KJ has some more time to use actually it comes like this if uh, KJ has some more time at some point if he's not busy again I'm gonna put him on the body again but for now we're gonna leave it alone alright so this t-shirt is in as well now this t-shirt is full <laughs> top and bottom or front and back whatever you want to consider it and um, now it is time to start with uh, 
the lid of repair. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to try to fix this uh, mount and then for the rest I'm going to do them in one shot. I mean I'm going to cut them all out, I'm going to prepare the patches and then I'm going to weld them all. I'm not sure how easy it is going to be but we can try. Okay, now I'm sure it's not going to be easy. Oh my god. Where it needs to be, right here. Oh my God. I guess they run over some big rock or something like that. Oh, there's a lot of grease there. I guess this is going to just snap off. So I think we should better snap it off, clean it and weld it properly. Okay, I'm gonna straighten it, we're gonna make it look as it's supposed to look, and we're gonna weld it back. And in the meantime, that's gonna give us better access here to straighten this part. Sorry guys, it's lunch time. See you later. Oh. Oh. It's hard to work now with full stomach. But we have no other choice, right? <laughs> Okay, I straightened this piece as far as I could. It goes like this, and it's missing a piece here, so we're gonna have to rebuild that. But it needs to be extended to here. But uh, before we start welding now, I think I'm gonna start cutting out everywhere where I need to cut out, uh, build all the patches. Just I got bored. <laughs> Cutting out and well, the cutting out. I think I'm gonna cut out everything at once. Then I'm gonna make all the patches at once, and then I'm gonna weld everything at once. <laughs> Let's see how it is gonna work this way. All right, I think all the rust is cut out now. I here, here, uh, where else? This, you know, why we cut out. Uh, this area is good. And here at the back, there was a lot of rust here that we cut out. And we have to recreate the sides. Then we have to recreate this side and then the cover at the top or actually at the bottom. Here is the same thing, even here, and uh, here between this hole and this hole, there was this piece inside to keep them separated. When you tighten the bolt here, that's for the bumper mount, I think, not sure, but when you tighten the bolt that goes inside, you shouldn't squeeze the frame. So we're going to have to put, I'm t I think I'm going to put a piece of tubing there, and same thing here, it's missing. It was rotten so I took it out and uh, yeah that's it over oh, here too I cut this out and I still have to weld this crack but we're getting there all right it's the end of the day so I'm gonna wrap it up on this project and I'm gonna move to the other one the GP6 
So what I did here is uh, I welded this already. Uh, you know, I was telling you that I was gonna make all the patches and then I'm gonna start welding. Well, it didn't work that way. <laughs> Anyways, I made the patch and I welded it in here. And I made this patch. Well, actually I made one more here and I welded it. And, and uh, I made this one, which I still haven't welded. But it fits something like this. So tomorrow I'm gonna weld this one in. And then I'm gonna start building covers. Oh, I still have to make this one here. And yeah, making progress, slowly, slowly. I keep uh, starting and stopping during the day because I have to go do some other things with other people here. But still, I spent a good amount of time. Maybe I spent about four, four and a half hours a day on this uh, frame. So I'm making good progress. Anyways, let's wrap it up for today. We're gonna be back on it tomorrow. Oh, hi guys, you're here. You're late today. I'm already halfway done. <laughs> Just inserting this spacer here. I've done it on the other side already. So I'm gonna weld it and then we're ready to cover this. So let me weld this. So yeah, all the side walls are patched now here and here this and this so now we have to make patches for the top and cover them and we're gonna be ready so I have insert here and I have the insert here and then we still have to do this and I've done that yeah and then we're gonna keep going forward sorry about the light Okay, it's, I'm not gonna go deeper than that. I know it's gonna be visible, but it better be visible than uh, less solid than what it is now. So, one more done. All right, the last two patches are made for here. And it's time to weld them. Look, they fit like tissues, huh? And this is how some people work. While I'm working, they're pretending to be working here. KJ is cleaning. The KJ is cleaning the sticker engine bay inside, and he's showing me this sticker here. So we better take a closer view of it, so we can buy it and replace it. In the meantime, we're always doing the the wheel well and this outer wall and he's revealing some nasty stuff here that we'll have to work with. Here you see somebody's done patching, brazing, and here too there's a lot of brazing. I think we're gonna have to get rid of that and just replace it. All right, this is welded. This is welded, and um, even this I welded it already, so we're almost done here. I mean, we have to get rid of this, we have to get rid of this, and uh, yeah, and then we can say that this rear end of the frame is done. We can jump right there. All right, so we are back on the transmission mount. 
and I already welded this piece here. It was hard to weld it inside, but I managed. Made this one for here. We're gonna weld this one now, but the problem is I lost this piece, the one that I straightened, because it's like I I I did it yesterday, and where did I put it? I have no idea. Oh, never mind. Ah, never mind, I'll find someone like you. No, I'm not gonna find someone like you because I found you. Uh, I'm so lucky. Okay, I found it. Don't look for it, guys. I found it. Alright. It's not like original, but I think it's better than original. <laughs> yeah. Nice and strong. And this area is the last that we, as far as I know, if unless something else pops out, but I think that's the last. So I should fix this first because I have access from underneath to push it up. And then I'm gonna fix this area and that's it. Oh, and I shouldn't forget this. These are all the repairs that needed to be done. Unless... Huh, unless we want to do something with this. And I definitely want to do something with this, but... and if it doesn't work we shouldn't waste anymore huh. all right obviously this doesn't work the stinger doesn't work so but I can't live with that I just can't leave with it. So, and what I decided to do is I'm gonna cut it here where the weld is. I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna lift it, and I'm gonna weld it again. There's no other option. Alright, it's the end of the day, so I cleaned up a little bit and I'm gonna move to the other project, to the GT6. But just wanted to show you here the what the, what does the frame look like on the on this side. So you see the repairs that I've done there and same repairs here of course. I still need to grind a little bit. I need to grind the t-shirt area. Uh, a little bit here in this corner uh, what else well everything else is pretty good so it's my phone once we grind this we're gonna rust convert it and then we're gonna paint it and when it dries we're gonna chase all the threaded holes because they are rusted now and I'm sure they're gonna get filled up with paint and stuff 
so we're gonna chase all the threads and I ordered the spray from Eastwood the internal frame coating I ordered a couple of sprays so when they come here we're gonna spray it inside and we're gonna be done with the frame and then we're gonna jump on the body and the body made progress today as well not much <laughs> actually Ruel worked uh, very well but our friend KJ just wasted time you see he scraped here and there and he didn't do a good job and then he disappeared but anyways we're gonna have to do a better job here at some point but uh, Ruel scraped here and you see these horrible patches they patched it on this side but they didn't cut any metal out so inside yeah I don't know if you can see that but inside it looks horrible so I'm gonna have to cut those patches out and cut the rust and replace it so yeah even there you see it's horrible so whatever they did they did a good job but they didn't cut the metal the old metal out so we're gonna get rid of it anyways and um, yeah here you see they basically rebuilt this but actually we have this piece we have new pieces for here so we might replace the whole thing or part of it we'll see tomorrow rail is gonna keep going here actually he started already oh my god look at that oh my god I don't know what am I gonna do here I guess I'm gonna have to take all this out all of it because I know that behind it it's full of rust I know for sure they didn't take the rust out I know these pieces are available for us spare parts in most so we might do that you know we might take we might replace them hmm. starting to get disappointed a little bit <laughs> anyways i'm rambling so yeah we're gonna keep going here all right next day and i ground a little bit here i think that's just enough i don't want to go too hard so now we're gonna start uh, de-rusting it but before de-rusting actually we have to degrease it because there's uh, a lot of oil here and a little bit here on this uh, cross member so I'm gonna do a little bit of degreasing and after that I'm gonna do a rust converter and once the rust converter takes effect we're gonna paint it with the rust guard paint who says the oil leaks are bad look at this bar it's brand new hmm I think we should leave the oil just dripping all over the place that preserves our frames and floors and everything <laughs> side is done so now we're gonna flip it and we're gonna do the bottom side here it already started taking effect and all this white thing is rust converted into something else I don't even know what <laughs> start again from the top side because the top side is actually the side that is not going to be seen so the top side is the one that is not seen so much and this side the bottom side is the one that you will see oh I missed the whole bar over there anyway the bottom side is the one that you see when you're under the car so I want this to be the better looking one so I'm gonna leave it for the end so the final touches are gonna be on this side if there are any runs from when I paint the top side 
they're, they're gonna come here for example they're gonna come here and around so I will be able when I flip it to this position again I'm gonna just brush them off and they're gonna be, be better you know what I mean I want this side to look perfect I, I want the top side to look perfect too but if there are some imperfections I prefer those to be on the is painted so we're gonna give it some time to dry and then we're gonna flip it and we're gonna paint the bottom part as well because there are areas like if you see over there I didn't paint I mean it was hard to reach from this side so I'm gonna reach those sides when I'm upside down and that's it we just need to give it some time to dry like they say, time heals everything, just give it time. Give the time a time. Hm. Yep. So we're gonna do something else in the meantime. While the time takes its time. Oh, it's time to shut up, Elin. Alright, end of the day update. So, Rail spent another day here cleaning up this mess underneath. But he does a good job. So. He's done with the passenger side and he's on the driver's side now and he keeps cleaning and the situation here is not different than the other side. Patches over rust. So that's it about the body. And the frame is over there. Here I'm rebuilding an engine. While the frame is, is drying I'm rebuilding this TR4 engine just changed the rocker shaft here and uh, just assembling it now but that's another story I was gonna say that's another video but there's no video about this I'm not filming it because I filmed a TR4 engine before and there's a separate playlist about this so I don't need to show it so many times right so the frame is still not dry so i haven't painted the bottom part i'm gonna leave it overnight to dry well and tomorrow i'm gonna flip it and paint the bottom part but i'm gonna cut this video here because i wanted to post a video tonight and uh, i think i have it i'm at a point where i can just end this video and that's gonna be it for the frame. Uh, there's still gonna be one more video about the frame maybe at a later stage of the restoration and i'm gonna do a coat of a truck bed liner but that second coat it's not going to be soon i think that's going to be after we finish with the body because i'm going to have to put the body on top of the frame now and i'm going to have to change floors and do stuff like that so for sure the paint is not going to last too long so once i'm done with the body and the body is uh, ready to be painted this is when i'm going to clean the, the frame again if uh, the coat of uh, rust guard is uh, damage somewhere, I'm gonna cover it again, I'm gonna do it again, and then I'm gonna spray the whole frame with the truck bed line. And of course, I ordered the spray for uh, inside, the internal frame coating from Eastwood, and when that comes at some point, we're gonna have to uh, coat the inside of the frame as well. So, probably there's gonna be another video about the frame, but at this point, I think we're gonna stop it and we're gonna say it's done. So thanks for watching guys, see you in my next video when we're probably going to start working on the body. Nice, huh?